Okay, y'all, something we gonna do from 2019 for the rest of our motherfucking life. Ladies and gentlemen, single mothers and single fathers and even fucking guardians, if you bear and have and create a motherfucking child, keep your own motherfucking kids. Stop trusting every motherfucking body with your motherfucking child. If the person that you're thinking about letting babysit your fucking kid has patience issues, such as with their own kids, short fuses with your motherfucking ass, stop being willing to leave your goddamn child with them and i don't give a fuck if the child is old enough to talk if that motherfucker ain't old enough to think like macaulay culkin keep that motherfucker at home figure out some coloring books and some other shit to occupy yourself with your child stop trusting teenagers and i mean 10 and the fuck up to watch your kids at motherfucking swimming pools and parks, any kind of events where your child can slip the fuck away or Instagram or some shit can get too good to the motherfucker that's babysitting and they forget your goddamn child is there. Now you in some bullshit behind some bullshit when she, you should have been the responsible motherfucking party. There's no way in hell I can hang on to something for nine motherfucking months. Push it the fuck out of my motherfucking ass and then leave it with an irresponsible motherfucker. I wouldn't even leave my motherfucking child with somebody that don't pay their motherfucking bills all the time. Because bitch, you may or may not feed my motherfucking baby. If it come down to some shit you need versus my kid. These boyfriends and these niggas y'all fucking, they are just that. Niggas that you are fucking. They are not your motherfucking babysitter. Oh, he gonna keep this baby. Bitch, you setting yourself up for destruction. You don't know what the fuck going on with your child. When you leave your child with a nigga that you barely fucking know. You don't know this nigga. Stop being willing. Oh, well, he has kids of his own. Them his motherfucking kids. Shit. That is enough. I have. N I don't even watch the news because the shit is depressing. The fact that the shit is making it on the social media now make you not even want to be on there. They finding kids burnt up in fucking cars because of boyfriends. They finding kids stabbed up and left in trunks because of side bitches. Yes, bitches do weird shit to kids too. Stop being so motherfucking trustworthy. At the end of the goddamn day, if a job can't understand and respect the fact that you got a motherfucking child, when it get that deep, find you one that provide child care. Or better yet, start a motherfucking daycare of your own. It's time to figure out other shit. Self-sufficiency is fucking key. Stop depending on everybody else to take care of your child. It is not like it was back in the motherfucking day when you can trust everybody with your kid. You cannot do it. And nowadays, these motherfucking cell phones and these computers work at home. Figure it the fuck out. But word to the wise, you motherfuckers are going to keep burying your fucking children versus taking care of them on your fucking own. And the first thing somebody says, oh, well, you don't have children. Bitch, no, because this shit is too much for me to handle and I don't even have none. I would go plumb dumb fucking motherfucking crazy if something happened to my kid. And it would be all on me. My negligence. I don't got kids for a reason. God know what the fuck he doing. I'm everybody TT. And I give a disclaimer. I will whoop your kid's ass. I don't bargain with children. I give them something to do. We going on. We play. We do arts and crafts and shit. If you call, I answer. I prefer video chat if I keep your child. I want you to be able to see that everything is all right. It's a bunch of sick motherfuckers out there letting your kids walk around outside half naked. Not cool. I don't give a fuck where you stay. I don't get, it's always something weird going the fuck on. So you should be 10 steps ahead. And when you got a child, you should be 20 fucking five steps ahead of that kid and 30 steps ahead of your fucking self. No, I don't have kids. Have I raised some? Plenty. And let me tell you right now, I have had kids sent the fuck back home from my relative's house because I call too much. I show up out of nowhere. I pack all day food. You don't eat shit at nobody else's house. I don't know what the fuck they put in their shit. I pack their own drinks, lunches, anything that child needs, and they they go nowhere without a cell phone. You call me if it's a motherfucker coming in the door too many times while you fucking sleep. You call me if somebody walk in the bathroom while you taking a shower. You're leaving. Better yet, fuck it. You go nowhere. We can party up in this bitch. 
Y'all have to be more motherfucking careful. There's no reason to have to have this conversation with nobody. Fellas, every female don't like your motherfucking child. Some of them will be vindictive towards your child because of the bitch that you had them with. You need to start paying attention to the motherfuckers that you are around. If a bitch don't want you to deal with your fucking kids, it's a slight chance she may not like them. The fact that a grown motherfucker would dislike a goddamn child that they don't know, be cautious of that. Before you worry about your own selfish motherfucking reasons. Stop leaving your kids with these bitches. And if you don't anticipate on being in a relationship with this bitch, stop introducing your kids to bitches. That bitch shouldn't know what your kids look like. All she need to know is that you got them until y'all are going to decide to do something for real there is levels and steps to everything one i don't want to meet your children until i meet the mother i want to meet the mother to give the mother an idea of who the fuck i am and what the fuck i'm about secondly i want me the mother and the children to meet each other I should never be around nobody's kids and they don't know who the fuck i am do you know how embarrassing that is oh hey no and third step, the mother, the father, and the children, and myself, we all get an understanding of what the fuck we are doing here. Then we go on. Y'all don't take the grown-up approach to shit, but fuck it. Cherish them motherfucking kids like you cherish them material pos possessions. You got motherfuckers won't even let you borrow a DVD, but I can have your kid all day. Man, look. 